Who do you turn to when you want to check out a company you plan to do business with? Well, for tens of millions of people every year, it's the Better Business Bureau. You know the name. But what you've never heard until tonight is that the organization itself is under fire. How do companies earn the Better Business Bureau's coveted A rating or have their reputations tainted with an F? Chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross has uncovered troubling accusations. The Better Business Bureau is used to giving out D's and F's, but tonight it gets some bad grades of its own. On Hollywood's biggest nights, when the stars come out and everything has to be the very best, it's Wolfgang Puck who was chosen to prepare the big gala dinner. A celebrity in his own right, with restaurants across the country, and a regular on Good Morning America, Puck's brand and reputation are impeccable. Yet the Better Business Bureau has slammed parts of Puck's food empire with grades as low as an F, which Puck says is because he won't pay them to become a member. You know, if you get a, become a member, you're sure to get an A. But, but if you don't pay, it's very difficult to get an A, and I don't know what we do wrong or right. We're in business for 28 years. The Better Business Bureau has been just as harsh with other well-known companies who have not paid to become members. An F for the five-star Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Boston, with only two complaints. A million customers served, two complaints, resulting in an F rating. Uh, it seems to be somewhat unusual, to say the least. Even Disneyland, owned by ABC's parent company, also got an F last year from the Better Business Bureau, before it was changed to an A once bloggers questioned the grade and the case was reviewed. This rating system is really unworthy of consumer trust or confidence, and sadly so because the Better Business Bureau has a very long and laudable history of advocating and educating for consumers. Our original mission was to... Founded 98 years ago, the Better Business Bureau boasts of its reputation for protecting consumers from business fraud. Did you know that 98% of all Americans are aware of the Better Business Bureau? There's no doubt the Better Business Bureau speaks with a powerful voice. But now a 2020 investigation conducted with ABC stations across the country has found serious problems with its grading system called a shakedown and a scam by business owners. Pay and get an A or face the prospect of an F. And it's a scarlet letter. It's a scarlet letter. I am branded with it. Now going on four years. Right. I don't want to listen Brian to Kraft this. is the owner of a Los Angeles company trading students for production jobs. So if this was my quick track, Kraft, whose company is not a member, says when he tried to protest a C grade based on complaints sent to the wrong address, an angry Better Business Bureau official retaliated and lowered the grade even further to an F. Kraft has spent more than a million dollars unsuccessfully trying to sue the BBB. These guys are bullies. They're bullying me. And I can't do anything about it. It's my good name. It's my company's good name. It's 30 years of hard work. There are Better Business Bureau offices in 122 cities in the U.S. and Canada. Their national headquarters are in Arlington, Virginia, where the president is Steve Cox. We're looking for you know, consumer protection, meaning ways that we can protect consumers from those fraudulent businesses or from those scammers out there. Know the value of accreditation. The Better Business Bureau is set up as a nonprofit group, but documents obtained by 2020 show that more than two dozen of its top executives have six-figure salaries. William Mitchell, the head of the Los Angeles Better Business Bureau, makes more than $400,000 a year. The Better Business Bureau appears to be prospering with the money brought in by its grading system. Very, very troubling. And it could be illegal because the failure to disclose to consumers could well be deceptive and misleading. Cox, who makes $300,000 plus a year, denies it's all about the money. Do you have to join the Better Business Bureau to get a good grade these days? Absolutely not. We have more than 500,000 non-accredited businesses who have A ratings. Better Business Bureau accreditation is by invitation only. In fact, only the Better Business Bureau says not just anyone can be an accredited member. Only businesses which meet membership standards and agree to follow the highest principles of business ethics and voluntary self-regulation are accepted. Yet earlier this year, the Mideast terror group Hamas was listed as a member and received an A- rating. Of course, it wasn't actually Hamas. It was the work of an anonymous blogger and a group of small business owners who punked the Better Business Bureau to prove a point. Hamas was registered with a non-existent address in Santa Monica 
and its owner was listed as Bill Mitchell, the well-paid president of the Los Angeles Better Business Bureau. They ran the credit card within 12 hours. They were an approved accredited member. What did that cost uh, to get Hamas uh, an A minus? This A minus grade here was $425. How did Hamas become a BBB accredited business with an A grade? Well, you know, plain and simple, we made a mistake. Also registered by the blogger and his friends, a skinhead white racist website called Stormfront. It received an A plus grade for $425 its president listed as Aryan Whiting. You can probably draw the conclusion from that that they're more interested in the money than their credibility. Well, Brian, that's, uh, again, we, we make mistakes. We've made a mistake This is here. yet another mistake? It's, it's, it's on the website today. Stormfront and its A-plus were removed from the website the day after our interview. You'll take anybody's money and give them an A as long as the credit card is valid. You know, BBB accreditation and the BBB ratings piece uh, is not about generating money. Some of those businesses see this as its own scam, its own telemarketing fraud. No, it's a, that's completely false. Not so, according to the manager of this Los Angeles antique shop, Terry Hartman. So by paying for the year... 2020, listen, this. she says she was told by a better business telemarketer she had to pay a membership fee if her C grade was to be improved a grade based on one old complaint that had been resolved. If I don't pay for this, my grade will remain a C. Hartman gave her credit card number. Five, five, and eight, the eight, next business day, her C became an A plus, and the one complaint was wiped off the record. And I feel that I've been taken. I feel like I had to buy the membership to raise our grade. You can't win. You cannot get an A without buying it, basically. Are you aware of this, that, that business people are able to buy A's? That's an inaccurate statement that business people are able to buy a... But here's another example involving the owner of a California company that provides clowns for parties. We were there as Carmen Tellez says she was told by a Better Business Bureau telemarketer she had to buy a membership to get yeah, rid of a C- minus based on a two-year-old complaint that had already been resolved. How long does that take to get a better grade? The very next day, after paying $395, her C- minus became an A+. If I'm paying for a grade, then how does the customer, how the customer supposed to really trust the Better Business Bureau? I would say that that is in violation of our sales policy. And you think these are just anomalies? Yes, I believe they are anomalies. Now, that's not to say not that... Not indicative of a standard way of doing business? Of no. a fraudulent business practice? Of course not. No, the BBB is not operating fraudulently. 45 minutes into our interview, Cox took off his microphone after his publicist said time was up, that our allotted hour in the office had expired even though we had more questions. We're not through here. We have, we, no, we, uh, it may be. So we weren't able to ask Cox about Wolfgang Puck and the many other reputable business people who say the Better Business Bureau grading system has now become little more than a shakedown racket. So you think if you'd given them money, you'd probably have an A. Where you have to join an organization to get a good grade, I think is wrong. 